Hi friends, I have a sketchbook session for you guys this Sunday and I invite you to take out your sketchbooks to draw along with me or even just doodle if you want to. It is a shorter one, I did end up editing it down to about 23 minutes and it's just because I cut out what I thought were boring parts or when my hand left the paper for a certain amount of time because I do do that a lot and I just figured it was time to put a shorter video out there a lot of mine recently have been long so I think it works this time around especially since uh, those of you that took my poll regarding how long these sketchbook sessions should be said that you would like a mix so here we are as for what i'm going to be talking about today i did want to talk about a couple different things originally i wasn't sure what to talk about but i ended up sitting down and forcing myself to think about it a little bit the first thing I wanted to point out was I was really not feeling the sketchbook session when I started it and it helped that I happened across an image on Pinterest. This is not something I thought up, so there you have it. It's not my original idea, but I did end up drawing it and you'll see what that sign says, but it was very much me kind of reminding myself to get out of my head and just draw like not to think about it too much because I think part of me was feeling guilty for just using Pinterest images as reference I I do feel guilty about that a lot of the time but I am trying to remind myself that I'm in a state of learning so that's why I'm doing it but I would like in the future to draw some stuff that is just from my imagination and hopefully I can do that or maybe combine multiple references into an original idea instead of just, you know, looking at a reference photo and drawing it. Also another thing I wanted to point out is this sketchbook session is over a couple days so you will see some light changing at one point, it'll be daytime and then nighttime again. I did start a uh, sketchbook practice where every morning before my nine to five I do spend about 30 minutes in my sketchbook before I start with work I clock in so that is shown here as well as uh, I believe I'm so it, I'm working again at night so it's over two or three days um, just so you know and I guess I felt like I should update you guys a little bit on some life slash art updates. I mean, these are mostly catered to content creation and what I'm doing in the artist realm of my life. So one thing I was really excited to tell you guys is I reached 250 subscribers on YouTube and that's crazy to me because that was my goal for this quarter. I did not expect to hit that you know, beginning of February and I did. So I'm really grateful for all you guys being here and wanting to watch me go through this journey. And I'm happy to take you along with me. Another thing that was crazy was I reached my Q1 goal for 125 followers on TikTok. So if you guys didn't know, I do have a TikTok. Um, I do post there twice a week and feel free to follow me over there if you want to. The link is always in the description. Another thing that I want to point out is my art haul video is still doing very well. I don't know why and I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm in Kelsey Rodriguez's Discord. So I did ask some members there of their opinion. Even Kelsey answered me basically saying it might just be a one-off. Like, you know, you just had one video that the algorithm really liked. And maybe that's the case and I'm just reading too much into it. So, but it's still doing well and it's been on here for I think three or four weeks now. So it's just starting to show signs of petering out. 
I don't know why that video did so well, but the algorithm really liked it. YouTube was recommending it to home pages and in the suggestion column for a lot of people. And I got like, I think about like 4,000 views with that video, which is like insane to me. But if you ever wanna see, I was wondering like if I should give you guys like an in-depth tour of my analytics, but I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in, comment down below if you are. Another thing that I started doing was, as I said before, doing 30 minutes a day in my sketchbook, usually before work, but sometimes if I have an early morning meeting or I didn't go to bed early enough the night before, I'll leave it to after my nine to five. And I've only missed two days, but I also like had a couple of days where I did more than 30 minutes. So my goal was on average to have 30 minutes a day. So if, you know, I was doing more time on other days, it can cover the days I didn't. Um, so it looks like I will be giving you guys a sketchbook tour at the beginning of April at the latest. So I'm really excited to do that. I also have been posting what I call daily check-ins on my Instagram stories. Basically, I go over what I'm doing for the day and if I accomplished what I needed to do for the previous day. So if you're interested in that information, I highly recommend giving me a follow on, over on Instagram. Again, my link is in the description box to all my socials. Another thing I want to let you guys know is I did decide to stop doing the sketchbooking in ink and color live course on New Masters Academy for a variety of reasons, but I just remember the first night I sat down to do homework and I just started, like I was maybe a moment away from having just a mental breakdown. I mean, maybe not to that degree, but I was really stressed out. I could feel myself, just my whole body, just not being comfortable in that moment. And I'm trying to be more conscious of what I'm feeling. And I just knew I couldn't do that assignment that night. So I didn't force it. And that was the last night I could do that assignment. So I just decided, you know what, if I'm feeling this stressed out about this, like I really need to maybe just do two courses which would be the fundamentals of drawing and introduction to procreate. So I decided to do that because it was apparent to me that three was too much, especially when you need to spend hours on homework assignments because if you want it to look any good or you want to put your best in it, you really do have to put the time in. Um, and I could say that I definitely spent a lot of time on my fundamentals of drawing and perspective class homework. I just was not in the mood to do this after a nine to five. So I decided to stop it. In the future, I would like to take the class if it's offered again or if I could just do it by myself, but that's what I decided and I'm sticking to it. And I just started feeling burnt out this week, which kind of contributed to that decision as well. And I think it's because January was such a productive month for me. I was constantly like on my A game and I'm slowly trying to schedule more non-work, non-art time into my life and I'm finding it very difficult. But it's something I have to do now because clearly what I was doing in January was not sustainable for me. And this kind of goes into my next topic which is i've been feeling a lot of guilt lately towards my art practice i find it difficult to put aside time to do something fun or relaxing and i have to consciously remind myself that rest and fun are productive i also sometimes feel guilty about not doing art for fun even though in that moment i don't feel like creating in that capacity which i know isn't right I shouldn't feel guilty about not wanting to use all my free time for art. That's okay. In fact, I think it's probably normal because we all have other hobbies. We all have other things we like to do and to do art all the time is just not realistic. I mean, maybe for some people it is, but for me it's not and I want to kind of normalize that. I enjoy doing other things. So it doesn't make me 
any less of a creative and I want you guys to know that too. Um, if you are kind of in the same boat as me in the sense that you have other hobbies. But even as I'm saying these things to you guys, I'm trying to remind myself and drill it into my head. I struggle to accept them because as an artist, shouldn't I always want to make art? And it stinks because there are some things I want to draw that I'm not ready or wanting to share with the internet um, because I just want some art that's mine. But I'm so worn out in my spare time now that I don't want to do these things. I don't want to dedicate time to it. And I also don't feel like I'm skilled enough to get it to the point where I want to do it or to get it to the point that I would like it which has been my, like it has been a very bad thing, that thought process, because it has stopped me from doing art in the past because I just thought, oh, it's not gonna turn out great. I don't have the skills for that. I don't have the skills to make this art piece that I have in my head the way I want it. But really I think, and I could be wrong about this, but if I had more time I could even without the skill because if I just dedicated like I noticed with my homework assignments for fund the fundamentals of drawing and perspective class if I spend enough time doing the assignment it comes out like good enough that I'm happy with it so I think that's what it is and I'm trying to remind myself to do that for this art project I'm doing for this quarter because I really do want it to come out the way I'm kind of picturing things in my head and I'm going to have to really put in the hours and time to get it there. But as I was saying, I still struggle with these things. It's normal to struggle with these things if you do too. We can struggle with them together and hopefully remind each other like it's okay. But yeah, it's it's been hard this week. And another thing is just like, kind of going off, off the skilled drawing thing. I'm still sitting in on some of the sketchbooking and ink and color classes just because I think the teacher is really worth listening to. He goes over a lot of good things and which is why I also want to take the class in the future when I do have time but this past Wednesday when I was sitting in on it I was also doing some work on the side I was seeing all of the homework submissions and just thinking to myself thank god I didn't submit anything because my art can't sit among this like it just can't I would look like I had just picked up a pencil, you know, like for the first time. And that the teacher would never look at my submission and think, wow, I have to show this piece to the class. Because there were two or three students he didn't have any feedback for and he hand selected to talk about at the beginning of the class. Like he didn't go in order of like who submitted. He just thought, wow, these are really good examples that I should talk about. And again, I don't blame him because they're good examples and honestly good for the artists because it was obvious they had poured hours into doing that homework. I think one person even said it took her in the chat 14 hours to do that assignment like over the course of I don't know how many days and I just don't have that to dedicate right now and it made me really sad you know, to think that way about my art and to think that way about like how I would, if only I had more time. But again, I don't know these people. I don't know their lives. So they could be dedicating, they could probably only have 14 hours of spare time to dedicate to this, you know? So I have to be like better about not like beating myself up so quickly. Um, and it's just, hard to remember that I guess and I'm telling you guys that because even I'm still learning it but if I can like help you guys to learn it too that would be great because I don't think that we should all be sitting here thinking those things and think we're the only ones thinking that and something wrong with me is my art bad because it's not it's it's just 
you're at a different place and you have a different life and you know it takes time that maybe you don't have right now and you know you dedicate what time you can and are willing to dedicate to it because that's when I start feeling guilty about how I'm managing my time my free time especially because it's like well I have free time now shouldn't I be studying or shouldn't I be trying to improve my art skills shouldn't I be drawing for fun um sometimes I don't want to so you know I don't I don't so you know but at this point in the game I have to my body's telling me something this week it's telling me look you're taking on way too much and you have to be a little bit calmer so I'm slowly trying to do that and I'm slowly trying to learn how to do that but as I said I often find after these super productive periods of time like January was to me I just run out of steam so it's like this horrible feeling where I just don't want to do anything beyond the necessary so I obviously do my my nine to five because I have to I have to work and at the very least my homework for the fundamentals class and then you know I have my other job which is YouTube and I don't consider it a hobby because it is work um, there are parts of it that I don't feel like doing sometimes especially editing editing sometimes I just am like oh, I really don't feel like doing that because I am literally editing some portion of a video every single day and I think I'm gonna have to somehow figure out to have one day in the week where I'm not editing because at least one because it's just too much but um yeah, every week I have to put out a video on Sunday and then I have two short form videos for Wednesday and Saturday to help, you know, that portion of my social media. So, you know, it's a lot. And beyond that, I have some personal goals I set for myself that have nothing to do with art. And, you know, I make sure those things, I make sure all these things are done. So when they're done, I'm not in the mood to do much else. I just want to lay in my bed, play video games maybe, or read, mostly read. So like, for example, last night, once I got home from my daily walk at about 6.30, 7 o'clock, I just decided to do no like nothing. I spent the rest of the evening lazing about. It felt great in the moment, but this morning when I woke up and realized I now had to do everything I didn't do last night, between today and Saturday, in addition to the things I planned for today and Saturday, it felt like all the energy from a decent night's rest was gone. I still did what I had to do today though. I wrote the script for the voiceover and I'm now recording it, but I just, I was really hoping to get ahead this week by filming a video Saturday for next Sunday and maybe editing between Sunday and Monday, but I'm realizing that's not going to happen. So I have to look to the future. And luckily we do have presence day off uh, at my nine to five. So I'm hoping that day I can possibly get myself to a place where I am able to be one week ahead on videos. That would be absolutely fantastic, but we'll have to see. And I'm not gonna beat myself up at it, like up about it because I'm still working towards being one week ahead and hopefully you know, with all that work, I'll eventually get to that point. And I am going to kind of jump out of this little spiel i'm talking about just to kind of ship like you know talk about what i'm seeing on the screen here i am drawing a picture of a very specific person and it was my first time drawing a per like a face in just pure pen without pencil and if you guys can guess who it is i will be so happy like correctly um down in the comments if not, I completely understand. <laughs> but I, I might even pull a poll, put a poll out or just like a post, like, who is this man? 
um, that I am currently drawing in pen. Yeah, that was nerve wracking. That was a really nerve wracking thing to do, especially because I knew I was going to be sharing it with you guys. And if it looks nothing like him, which to me, it doesn't look like him. I mean, I see a little similarity, but like, it's not the same. It's not him. But if you guys can guess down in the comments and if you guys guess it right, I am going to be so freaking happy and I might draw more of him. So if you guys are also a fan of him, let me know. But kind of went off topic there, but we're all, I was almost done talking about it anyway, so I went off script. Sorry about that. But um, I'm still trying to figure out balancing mental health with, you know, doing everything that I'm doing. And if you guys have tips, let me know. I would love to hear your guys' tips. I'm still trying to figure it out and what works for me. And I would love to make a video on it in the future because I do think it's an important thing for artists, especially when you're starting out um, and even later on. But I feel like when you're starting out, you're still trying to figure out so many new things that like mental health needs to kind of be in there too. I feel like you have to figure that out early. But yeah, <laughs> talk to me about it. And um, we're getting close to the end now, so I do want to ask that if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, or if you're not convinced yet, maybe check out some of my other videos. I have a, a few listed down in the description box that are either popular or most people like. So. Um, you can check them out and um, if you ring that little bell it'll tell you every time I put out a video but I do put out a video every Sunday and as I said earlier in the video two short videos every Wednesday and Saturday so I hope you guys have a good rest of your Sunday and a good week ahead of you I'll see you next week thanks for watching bye